factors that affect photosynthesis. Plants are the food suppliers to the world. Even carnivorous animals like the lion and tiger, which do not eat plants, are indirectly dependent on them, as they eat herbivorous animals which eat plants. Plants are called autotrophs as they make their own food. They convert sunlight, carbon dioxide and water into glucose, their food. This process is known as photosynthesis. We can summarize the process by the equations shown here. Chloroplasts in plant cells absorb light energy from the sun. In photosynthesis, CO2, carbon dioxide and H2O, which is water, are combined to form C6, H12, O6, glucose and O2, oxygen. Pluck a green leaf from a plant growing in sunlight. Boil it in water for a minute to kill all the cells. Now put it in a test tube containing spirit. Now keep the test tubes in a hot water bath for a few minutes until it becomes pale white due to the chlorophyll in the leaf getting dissolved in the spirit. Place the leaf in a petri dish and add a few drops of iodine to it. The leaf turns blue-black, showing the presence of starch. How do we know that chlorophyll is essential for photosynthesis? Take a variegated leaf which is only partly green. Test the leaf for starch. Only the parts of the leaf that were green show the presence of starch. A simple and interesting experiment can show us the importance of sunlight for photosynthesis. Keep a potted plant in the dark for a day. No starch will be formed in the leaves due to the lack of sunlight. Cover a part of the leaf of the potted plant with black tape to cut off the sunlight to that area. After one day, remove the leaf and test for starch. The area covered by the black tape will not show the presence of starch. Light is necessary for photosynthesis. The rate of photosynthesis increases with the intensity and quality of light. The longer the exposure to light, the more is the production of glucose. The enzymes that carry on photosynthesis work best at certain temperatures. The rate increases with an increase of temperature up to 38 degrees Celsius, but decreases above that, as the enzyme involved are sensitive to high temperatures.
Water is very important for photosynthesis and a shortage of water decreases the rate of photosynthesis. Only a very small percentage of the water absorbed by the plant is used for photosynthesis and the rest is lost due to transpiration. Keep a potted plant in the dark for a day. No starch will be formed in the leaves due to lack of sunlight. Insert a leaf of the plant in a bottle containing caustic potash. If the leaf is tested for the presence of starch the next day, it will not show the presence of starch as the carbon dioxide in the air was absorbed by the caustic potash in the bottle and was not available to the leaf for photosynthesis. Any other leaf from the plant would show the presence of starch. The rate of photosynthesis decreases when there is very little carbon dioxide present in the air.